Good morning guys. Day one of the boat project. We're about to start it. First things first, we're gonna get rid of the barnacles from the hull. Let's get it going. It's begun. Let's get this drained out. Look at the water in here. Nice. Luckily though, wires are here for this old bilge pump. I have bought a brand new bilge pump just in case I can't get this one to work. But let's just uh, strip these wires off. I've got a brand spanking new battery here. And hopefully that should drain the lot of water that's inside. Let's get this new battery. Here we go. Right, so let's just chop these ends on these wires and get some uh, get some length to this. Oh yes. I do need to get that lower down though because it's not going to get it all out. But she's off. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that! Like a jet wash. Fantastico. Oh, she's draining. Soon I won't get my feet wet. Marvellous. We'll see how long this takes. I think it's flooding area. We're creating a floodplain in the marina. Emerald Star will be floating next. We're not actually ready for her to go in the water yet, but I think this boat's going to help. <laughs> The depth of water in here, it was like the Titanic in reverse. Wow. There's still loads to go. And now, six and a half years later. Okay, so basically that was one full thing inside here. So let's see if I can just drain this out, guys. Sorry about the uh, view. Oh, yeah, straight to the cockpit, look. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. I'm working in a tight space. Look at that, there we go. Nice. Let's fill the cockpit back up. Make sure them cockpit drains stay clear, otherwise I'm going to have another flood back inside the boat. But yeah, that works. That's definitely working. Tip that forward a bit. There we go. Go for round two. Screw that back on. Okay, so... That's working brilliantly, but I think what I should do is use a brush to scrub it as I'm draining it. And that should give it a bit of a clean up of all this moldy stuff, all this moss, whilst I go. So we'll go and grab a brush and we'll do that. Oh, 
All right, so that's loosened it all up. It's time to get it wet back out. I've sucked out as much water as I possibly can. But what I am finding is she's completely full of foam. Uh, now, there's water keeps on appearing in this locker, which is very nice and clean. And they've screwed down all these floor hatches, which of course should be accessible. But under there, I have a sneaky suspicion that they filled the whole bilge full of foam. So what I'm going to have to do is get this one up. This one's kind of in the center. We'll get this one up and we'll have a look to see how much foam is in here because it's all going to have to come back out because it is absolutely saturated. All right, so let's have a look in here. There it is. She's out of there. Let's whiz that one out. All right, let's just see if they've filled this up completely with expanding foam. Oh dear. Expanding a wet foam. Beautiful. So I'm gonna have to rate this. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dig a quick hole in this and just try, oh, it stinks guys, it stinks. I wish you could smell this. It smells beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh God. The smell is oh, so nice. Let's just dig a hole. And if I dig a hole, see that look guys? Do not put expanding foam in your boat because if it gets wet, it helps it sink. It doesn't, it doesn't stop it from sinking. It waterlogs it, soakens it. That's why they stopped putting it in many years ago. Right, let's get this sucked out. Let's see if we can get all the water out. Let's check that out. The vac back on. We'll take the end off because there's a lot of sludge, a lot of foam to get out. And let's give it a go. Sorry for the noise. Alright, so as you can see, we got most of that out there, all the water's gone. Easy enough to get out. Getting back under the hull be a bit more challenging. Oh, but yeah, it's looking good. We can get this raked out, all this foam. And we should have a pretty much dry hull then at that point. But as you can see guys, if you look just down here, as you can see they've went really mental with the expanding foam. I haven't even looked any further forward yet because the next job, once we've got all this water out, is to have a good clear operation of the boat so everything's got to come out. I can't have anything in my way. I want a clear start, empty all the rubbish out. We'll put the sails in the back of the van, the rudder in the back of the van, anything that's salvageable that we think we could ever use again, we'll keep. Everything else can go in the skip. So yeah, that's where we're up to. Let's keep on moving. Let's get all this rubbish out of this boat. Oh dear. Oh no. Uh, starting with a porter potty. Oh dear. I don't like that one bit. Let's get this out of the way quick. Ah, I didn't even have any gloves on. <laughs> what am I thinking? Right, let's get this stuff out. Let's get it all empty. Some good rope. Ah. Ah. Hmm.
but guess what guys came with a vhf radio look at that bad boy oh yes yeah getting there almost empty what else we got hmm that looks like part of the boat we'll leave that there it's actually dry that side's wet this side's dry all right just that rope which i definitely say they've used that rope for the anchor because it runs forward up to there but we're going to get the anchor off the deck anyway and give it a good clear up and then uh start power washing and blow all this mess to pieces can't wait to get them davits off <laughs> can't wait anyway I dug the rudder out guys there's the rudder the rudder actually looks not a bad shape it's actually still got lacquer and everything on it and varnish not too three bad so the good thing is because we're working on also working on Emerald Star we're neighbors we're here Matt's there sun's out look look sun's out what a great day So, it's time to get the jet wash out and let's see if we can get some of this paint off and make it look a little bit cleaner. Let's go and do that right now. So, after covering myself in paint because it all just fell off everywhere, we've almost got the boat back to the original colour. Uh, it's in some sorry state though, I have blown paint off everywhere but we're renewing all this anyway. So yeah, I blew all the loose paint off inside. It just wants to dry out, I need to pump it back out again. We've got to get rid of all that foam, dig it all out. And then move on to the next stage. So, blasting all that loose paint off made a mess but it, it had to be done. Um, yeah, we like it. I just need to sweep out all this cockpit, get it all dried out, get rid of this cockpit mess. And she's now changed colour. So you can kind of see the wood from the trees. She's nearly back to an original colour. Very messy. But getting there. So I think that's day one complete. So, day two. Let's see what's next. So today. We're going to tackle removing engine bracket, that engine bracket, these steel fittings, and of course, the famous davits. We're going to remove them today, and of course, start removing all the LED strips from the boat. As you can see, there's quite a few of them, and that's where we're up to. We're just trying at the uh the rough and ready way first. We like rough and ready sometimes. Oh yes, there we go. Looks like there's a bit of success going on there. Right, next one.
Marvellous. There we have it. Another side done. Mole grips, get these screws out, job done. It's that rotten me screw that went through it. So guys, all that wood removed, it was fun. It's now time to remove davits. Let's get these things out of here. First of all, let's have a quick inspection at the bolts we're gonna try and undo next. I can see the plate and three bolts. So we've got um, we've sprung a leak, Cliffy. We've sprung a leak. <laughs> yeah, what's happened? And on to the other side. Funny way is it, son? Yeah. <laughs> the davits are free. <laughs> ah, you can't see the bolt from that bracket. No. Nah. Oh, it is an inside job. This just should lift off with the bolt out. That should lift off in theory, the whole thing. Give it a wiggle. There you go. Oh, there's the, <laughs> there's the plate gone. The plate's gone. Is it heavy? <gasps> oh, look at the water come out of it. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bit heavier that one. Goodbye, Davids. Well done, Matt. He saves the day. <laughs> nice. See if it just pops out now, Matt. Should just pop out that. Oh, look at that. Last remaining Davit piece. Goodbye, my davits. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. What's the best thing we can do with these, Matt? Straight to scrap. Buddy. Straight to scrap? Straight to scrap. Best to scrap. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> the finest and finest of scrap metal. <laughs> okay, so next job is to remove or engine bracket. Let's see if these bolts come out all right. Goodbye. So we're back once again, day three of the project one pound boat. So the sun's drying the boat out nicely. Um, I'm gonna start some sanding very shortly on the exterior, but whilst it's drying out slowly, very slowly, I can check out how much foam is in these lockers. There's a lot. Okay, so first job, get these other floor sections out, that one and that one, and we'll see what we're looking at. Let's get on with it. So I think the only answer is foam mining. 
What a challenge I have accepted. Let's get the form out. Just emptied that drum now, full of the uh, expanding wet form. I have to admit, it is more challenging than I thought, but I am, I am only using a rusty saw. No pain, no gain. Let's get the rest of this form out. the second big massive bin full the form is completely empty now all that's left to do is get the wet back and clear up the bilges let's do it Whew. so after a bit of form mining with a simple rusty saw we've managed to clear all the foam out of every single locker okay it's still a little bit messy but every locker is now foam free day four sanding
I'm going through many sanding discs because uh, the paint that's been used is a household paint and what it's doing as you're sanding is just turning to glue and of course this is what it does to your discs within two seconds they block up so I might have to try a new method I might have a go at soda blasting Mediocre at best, yeah. Now into day six of the one pound yacht. Today, we're gonna to step the mast. Let's get this mast on the floor. So as you can see we've got the mast down successfully and we've just now removed the back stay and the fore stay of the steel wire so we can get them made up nice and new again so we'll refresh them we'll clean the mast up as you can see it's uh, very green but all in good order So as you can see, this is a marvellous process that's done really quick on time lapse. But in reality, this is day one, two, day three on sanding. Um, shot blasting would have been easier or soda blasting. But I'm one of these kind of guys who grabs the tools, it starts doing its job. So just move on because the time I go and start rooting around for stuff and messing about, I could have had another half of it done. And that's how we do it. Just keep on rolling. So I do feel like those shot blasting's cheating. Because I'm not really doing it myself. I'm just gonna pick up the phone, get someone to come down, bring his shot blaster, blast all the paint off. It's gonna cost a load of money. And I can do these boats on a budget. Let's keep to that budget use minimal amount of money, more labor, and also more fun. Because what else would I be doing? I love sanding. I love prepping. I love messing with the one pound bolt. Let's just keep on moving. 